Good day to you people. My name is Mohit and guys today I am going to talk about to once again vitamin B12 deficiency. Okay. Give me a sec. Give me a sec as I you know put things into the right place. Alright. Uh, a very important nutrient guys and your vitamin B12 deficiency could be a cocktail of a toxic platter. Basically not eating right. Uh... A toxic person or a set of toxic persons and toxic circumstances such as lockdown okay now why is that important that's important because you are not what you eat you are what you absorb and your absorption is definitely affected by the people around you the toxic people around you and the toxic circumstances staying indoors in lockdown uh, not moving out in the sunlight enough not moving enough Okay, these are all toxic circumstances that affect your digestion and your absorption. I always say, if you have a digestive problem, fix your mind, not, do not fix your gut so much. Okay, now uh, let's come back to vitamin B12 deficiency signs and symptoms. The first sign or symptom that you or others may notice is a pallor, a jaundice or a yellowish skin okay so that's the first sign see the difference out here this hand is so pinkish this is so yellowish so yellowish tinge uh, a jaundice skin uh, that is because the red blood cells may not be forming properly and why does it happen because uh, the synthesis of red blood cells normal cells healthy cells um, of right shape right size uh, happen only if you do not have a vitamin b12 deficiency or a folate or a folic acid deficiency Fol folic acid folate usually are also going to go down along with b12 so the synthesis of healthy new bright uh, strong blood cells red blood cells happen only if you are not deficient in vitamin b12 uh, the very important nutrient the misunderstood nutrient and then again um, it is also responsible for the synthesis of DNA that's a part of every cell of every tissue and uh, vitamin B12 is also responsible for your nervous system health so you're in absence or in deficiency of I wouldn't say absence in cases where it's actually low you will notice that the nervous system actually collapses and uh, so many symptoms like anxiety and depression will then be present okay so vision problems so in 2019 July when I had this problem I would see an irregular uh, form or a shape of whitish uh, color fly from in front of the, the left eye to the right eye it would appear maybe for a second or a two okay I cannot describe the shape as a pentagon or an uh, octagon or a triangle nothing you know it was just irregular and just would stay in front of the eyes for maybe a second or a split second and disappear and, um, and that would happen several times in a day so vision problems I would have blurry vision many a times blurry vision okay and I would have difficulty focusing as you would see in the this picture Many a times I I couldn't see what's on the mobile. Exactly, exactly this would happen. Or something like this. Uh, give me a sec. Something like this. When I would see across the road, things would appear out of focus, blurry to me. This way. Okay. Right. This way. Self-explanatory. Okay. Eye strain, obviously. Uh, okay then you would have problems with walking gait um, coordination and balance so you would probably walk zigzaggy you would be unstable you would you would feel that you might have a fall anytime I was very scared in the the, the washroom I always when I was bathing I was uh, scared of you know falling and I was uh, sometimes walking very close to the walls 
because just in case uh, I would lose my balance, I could hold the ball. So I couldn't drive any two wheeler or a four wheeler for around three, four months. Okay, so you are obviously, especially as an elderly, prone to falls, as you can see out here. And a fall may actually happen, uh, very rare, but uh, may actually happen. Mm, balance problems balance problems, gait problems, walking problems, feeling unsteady, feeling that, that you might have a fall, okay, and you actually might have a fall, balance problems, give me a sec guys, oh, that's a bad fall, due to a uh, lack of a better picture, I wanted to depict or show um, difficulty walking but due to lack of a picture a better picture I had to use this one so you would have difficulty walking not necessarily that you would need a stick and uh, this is a real fall okay glossitis so swollen red uh, inflamed tongue too big for your mouth without the normal bumpy appearance uh, appearing too smooth reddish sometimes with lesions and uh, you know the inflammatory red spots that might actually burn when you have food or liquids warm liquids so feeling dizzy perpetually or feeling bouts of dizziness lightheadedness uh, not connecting very well with the uh, atmosphere around that's perpetual lightheadedness or dizziness so you're losing touch with the consciousness a lot I would tell my doctor that I can only connect with you 60% so I'm finding it very difficult to understand what you're trying to say. And I uh, I feel like I'm actually in a dream. And this is everything around me is not real. Okay. Perpetual dizziness. 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 Uh, numbness in hands and feet. Or the arms also. Sometimes. Uh, this is called peripheral neuropathy. Feeling of numbness and tingling in hands and feet. Okay tingling and numbness of hands and feet feeling tired probably because you had a bad night's sleep insomnia sleeplessness sleeplessness is a symptom guys so you've uh, earlier maybe you were sleeping soundly for seven hours eight hours now you are even struggling to get anywhere around four hours five hours that's because your nervous system has collapsed the myelin sheath of the or the insulation of the nerves has been stripped away stripped off the fatty uh, it's a fatty substance that covers your nerves it's called the myelin sheath and it strips off it demyelinates and it has to remyelinate over three to six months so the treatment may go as much as six three to six months the remyelination takes a lot of time so feeling tired uh, mentally strained, unable to focus, unable to concentrate, uh, anything that requires mental focus, mental con concentration, uh, memory, uh, cognitive uh, strength is where you might fail. Memory lapses. So feeling feeling like, I'm not saying dem dementia Alzheimer's, but I'm saying your condition may mimic that, that state. Alzheimer's and uh, dementia again coming back to toxic people toxic people may create toxic circumstances or there may be toxic circumstances along with toxic people that affect your digestion you get may get into colitis or absorption issues as your digestive juices and digestive enzymes are not released properly and uh, <coughs> I'm sorry give me a sec where was I Where was I? Okay, so toxic people may create toxic circumstances. Or those toxic circumstances may be um, there already, okay, which uh, affect your gut. So whenever your gut is affected, you need to treat your mind, not so much the your brain, not so much the the gut. So yes, prebiotics, probiotics obviously help, but then it's the mind that actually works. Um, and affects your digestion a lot. So that's why I say it's the toxic platter. 
it's a cocktail of uh, vitamin b12 deficiency is a cocktail of um, toxic platter which is uh, not the right kind of food for you okay not the nutritious food for you plus toxic people and toxic circumstances so feeling tired all the time lethargic um, weak muscle weakness mental weakness mental brain fog um loss of memory memory lapses difficulty focusing concentration okay feeling tired all the time even after getting up even after getting up all right so yes so this could be um mental strain maybe a headache so you may have um, tightness of the um, the neck of the or the back or the shoulders all right fear oh my god this 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 was a big one this was a big one okay so feeling negative feeling uh, grouchy grumpy angry mm, negative all the time you know you get uh, suicidal thoughts you may get suicidal thoughts you may get panicky you may panic a lot okay you may panic for hours together so once you have a vitamin b12 deficiency you are in big 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 trouble uh in bold uh big trouble underlined bold italic italicized in quotes big big trouble you may even get as i said suicidal and um, you have a negative thought pattern so your sleep is obviously affected and sleep is so important okay so feeling so negative feeling so down in the dumps feeling all at sea feeling out of sorts feeling uh, restless feeling um, uneasy uh, and yeah grumpy grouchy irritable angry so all these symptoms uh, may appear actually should appear i should say so guys i hope you found this information useful you have a very good day bye bye peace